In my adult life, there's countless times when I felt guilty making a room for fun. I don't know about you, but you probably felt it too at least once in your life. But why should we feel this way? We don't have to be. Remember when we were kids? We almost always want to have fun. We were excited getting up from the bed when we know we are gonna do something exciting. We don't overthink. Worrying was not a thing for us. We just make fun as a normal part of our routine. I know, I know, you might be saying, but we're not kids anymore. Yes, we are adults now, but don't you feel like you abandoned the kid inside you who wants to have fun and takes life lighter? When we were kids, we used to like building things, creating something, and enjoy it. But why can't we do it now? Last month, we went in Bern. Stayed at a hotel and the common area had a pool table. So we played a lot since we got there but we've been only allowed to play until 11 p.m. Few days after the trip, we realized that we actually have so much fun playing pool together. So we thought, why not get our own pool table and play as long and as much as we want? So yeah, we decided to get our own, assembled it together and voila, here it is, a pool table in our own living room. Just to let you know, we are not really really good at it. We're still learning and practicing and even if we never get great at it, that's okay. We are still going to play because it is definitely bringing us so much fun. And we don't feel guilty about it. So stop feeling guilty when you do and want to have fun. We're supposed to have fun. We must have fun. Kids or adults, we deserve to have fun. Life is like playing the nine ball. Sometimes it can be disappointing. Sometimes we have great shots. Sometimes we get really bad shots. And when we had a bad shot, often we keep on thinking how bad it was. The more likely that we miss the present ball that needs to be pocketed. Sometimes we also miss the present ball if we keep focusing on the next one and lose the chance to get the next ball in the first place. Just like when we don't focus at the present moment and we're always beating ourselves up, dwelling on the past, and always looking forward about the future, we miss the shot in front of us, the shot of the present moment. We have to let go of every moment, forgive and accept that it happened, and focus what requires our attention at the present. Sometimes it feels like our goals are so hard to reach, but we have to keep going. Even the going gets tough, and when we think we are about to achieve our goal, we face another massive, unexpected challenge. We have a choice to give up or give it one more shot. You don't have to be perfect. Embrace being vulnerable. Take that shot. The shot of putting your dreams into reality. Even when you doubt yourself, take it anyway. Have fun and play it well by accepting that well includes dealing with all the good and the bad experiences. Keep showing up 
Keep on improving and learning from your mistakes. Continue your consistent little efforts. Don't neglect to tap your own shoulders often. And reward yourself for your efforts and courage of even trying. Okay, okay. I'll stop being dramatic here. One last thing. Do you value your health and happiness? If you do, well, you need to hear this. Prioritizing time actually plays a big role in our holistic health and happiness. Life can be like playing a game, but it's not a competition. It's about collecting great experiences, accepting the bad ones, and thrive through it all. Embrace every moment because, good or bad, every moment is the best. Every moment is precious and unique. Every moment is a gift and we will never exactly experience it over again so heck yeah prioritize fun and stop feeling guilty about it Oh, <laughs> <laughs>